Hey YouTube, I'm Mars 1952 and today I'm doing a minor repair on my water tank in my 2008 Fleetwood Icon RV. So, um, anyway, it's a design flaw and let me get in here and show you what's wrong with it. So here's the fill point and right down here you can see a vent, it's a little screened vent. And the way the tank is set up right now, when we're going down the road, water sloshes out of that vent. Uh, the vent is necessary when you pull water out of the tank that water's got to be replaced by air otherwise the tank will collapse so I'll, I'll stream in i'll put in a picture here of what happened in the winter we went on a winter camp out with this and the water sloshed out every time we you know did a jostle on the road and uh, ice you can see uh, froze on the side of the rv from all the water that was coming out now the worst thing was this vent froze shut uh, it was really cold, below zero some of the places, and uh, that's below zero F. And since that vent was closed, when we tried to use water, it was creating a vacuum in that tank. Happily, nothing broke or collapsed. So let's get inside and I'll show you what I'm going to do to fix that. This is the inlet for the water tank. The water tank is under one of the dinette seats. The tank does not have any baffles in it. That's why the water sloshes so badly. So I'm going to zoom in to where the fix is going to take place. Right here. So this is where the water comes in and this is the check valve hose. I replaced both of those with PVC. Um, the original equipment ones were dry and brittle and had cracked and both of them leaked. This is just a piece of one and a half inch PVC that I used a heat gun to heat it up to fit over these nipples, which are slightly more than one and a half inches. Clamped it in place and it's working great. This is just plain half inch PVC hose. Now what I plan to do here is insert this check valve. Came straight from China. Ordered it off of eBay. It's a get up here you can see it hopefully. It's a 12 millimeter same as half inch. I'll double check those measurements. Um, but it allows <clears throat> air or water to go through one direction but not the other. And I'm going to set it up so it can breathe air in but water won't go out. So I'm just going to guesstimate on how thick that um, check valve is. And get up in here and snip and snip again. Hopefully take out enough that's what I took out. Got a couple hose clamps. And since I bumped this around, I've got to double check the. Uh, that's the correct way. I'm going to put a little bit of alcohol on there and that'll lubricate it as well. Put the hose clamps in place. Triple check. the check valves in place and put these hose clamps on here so those clamps are a little clunky but they will work I had them on hand That is it. I will no longer have le um, water sloshing out my vent hole. Here's a complication resulting from putting in the check valve. There's the vent again, and here's the fill point. I've got a, a hose that I rigged up here. This is an old wash machine filler hose. I chopped that off a long time ago. It comes in very handy. The right angle ones are pretty rare. Um, but you can buy gizmos just like this to fill your water tanks. You can also buy a gizmo that locks directly onto this port so there's no leaks. That's nice and neat, but once this check valve is in there, there's no place for the air to go. So you have to leave this open when you fill it. So I'm going to go ahead and fill it the rest of the way. It's pretty full. 
I've sanitized this hose with bleach. So what will happen, I'll cut to the end, it's going to just fill all the way up and just flow out of that. And I can feel air coming out of it right now. So there, if you, if you cap that off, there's no place for the air to go. That's the whole point of this. All right, it's almost full. So it'll just run out when you put in too much. That is full to the brim. You can't tell, but there's nothing coming out of the vent. There we go. Okay, finally done.